Hey guys, Nikolai here. Before we get into the video featuring such topics as an official League of Legends fighting game, cancelled new game modes and more, I first need to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Pro Guides. Pro Guides is a platform dedicated to helping you reach your dream rank. They're backed by some of the biggest professional players and they have detailed courses for any concept you're struggling with. If you happen to have any questions at all after watching a guide, you can use Genius, where a master or challenger player will immediately answer any questions you have. Pro Guides is now free to use and there's no better time to join than today. Check the first link in the description to get started. Now with that being said, let's jump into the video. League of Legends has existed for almost 10 whole years now. To put that into perspective, League of Legends came out only a couple months after Kanye West decided to famously go on stage at an award show, Uninvited. Yo Taylor, I I'm really happy for you, I'm let you finish. Riot Games. One of the best videos games. Of all time. Now, since then, along with Kanye, Riot Games has done a handful of things and mistakes, including make promises that they would rather you forget. So Kanye, if you don't mind, I'd like to get started with five things Riot Games wants you to forget. Starting with number five, we visit the Magma Chamber. The Magma Chamber was supposed to be a brand new map and game mode with objectives that fans had been wishing for. Currently, League of Legends sits as a 5 vs 5 game. Of course, there's Twisted Tree Line, which is 3 vs 3, but come on, who actually plays Twisted Tree Line? Now, despite being a 5 vs 5 game, players often wish for a 1 vs 1 game mode. And one day, Riot Games was ready to answer everyone's wishes and promised the players that a 1 vs 1 as well as a 2 vs 2 game mode was on the way. This exact game mode was later showcased in the 2013 League of Legends All-Stars event, and here are the three unique objectives to win in this game mode. First player to kill 100 minions, first to get first blood, or first team to get two kills in the 2 vs 2 alternative, and lastly, first to destroy the single turret. Accomplishing any one of these objectives would mean you win the game. With the promise from Riot and the showcase of the game mode at the All-Stars event, many players were excited for this. However, some time went by and the Magma Chamber was cancelled. Their reasoning for cancelling basically was just that they determined that there wasn't enough interest from the players. Which I personally kind of think is bull- Chemo. This was going to become the modern day League of Legends version of 1v1 me at Rust. People always want to 1v1. I can't see how they would determine that there wouldn't be enough interest for this. Especially with them at the time still running Twisted Tree Line and Dominion, which those are games that players certainly didn't have any interest for. Anyway, aside from my rambling, Riot actually promised to get this game mode out. So in response, they made a cancellation post where they explained everything. We know we changed our minds after making a commitment and we're sorry. We hate doing it. The biggest promise we make, and the one that makes us believe that this is the right decision, is that we aspire to be the most player-focused game company in the world. Well, whatever that means. In conclusion though, the idea of a 1 vs 1 game mode in League of Legends gets requested quite often, as well as requests for Riot Games to just bring back the Magma Chamber itself. But Riot shows no sign of answering those calls, and it would seem that they have just moved forward acting like that never happened. Also, for anyone wondering, I should mention that there once was a different map with the same name, Magma Chamber, that was supposed to be a map larger than Summoner's Rift. However, that Magma Chamber was also cancelled and actually ended up becoming Dominion, which is now gone. Riot also wants you to forget about that ever coming back as well. Although, to be fair, I don't think many people are asking for Dominion to come back. Getting on with number 4, the League of Legends official fighting game. In March of 2016, Riot Games acquired an indie game developing company called Radiant Entertainment. At the time, Radiant Entertainment was currently gathering hype and entering the beta stage for their new free-to-play fighting game, Rising Thunder. However, not too long after the acquisition by Riot Games, they officially came out and said that Rising Thunder was cancelled. This brought disappointment to those who believed Riot Games was going to help Radiant Entertainment in their quest to make this new fighting game. Well, to make a long story short, for those that knew about this, this was pretty interesting and quite exciting. But we're on our way to being almost three years since Riot acquired that company and nothing has come forward. 
Now, the reason I have this subject on our list is just because Riot has never come out and answered anything about this, despite many fans asking. However, I somewhat believe that although on the outside it looks like Riot just threw this whole idea under a rug somewhere, I still think that there's a chance that this game will see the light of day. And potentially soon. Especially since Riot has hinted at a new game coming out for a while now. Perhaps this is it. And if it isn't, then just forget this ever happened. Also on the same topic, quickly, number 3, the Teemo game. I want to take a moment here to talk about another game that got leaked by Riot and was shortly also swept under a rug. In 2017, it was discovered that a video game called Teemo's Adventure was approved for sale in China. This was going to be a PC game published by Riot Games themselves. However, along with the League of Legends fighting game, Riot has yet to say anything official about this. But hey, a, a video game just focused on Teemo might not be that bad. For number two, old client features. As of making this video, it has been over two years since the League of Legends client went from looking like this to this. But anyway, the old client had some features which players still often wish for. But for the most part, Riot Games has said, forget about it. Starting with the Spectate High Elo Games feature. If you played the game sometime before Season 6, you probably remember a little box that would showcase 5 different high elo games for you to spectate. This feature was actually quite beloved and is often requested to come back by players all the time. Essentially, it was exactly what it sounds like. Riot would push some high elo matches to the front of your client, and you could freely spectate these matches without being friends with any of the players in the game. However, Riot Games made a post after the release of the new client titled Future Plans for the Client. In this, they specifically said that the Spected High Elo Games feature was a low priority for them to bring back. This kind of stems from a moment where people were making streams to spectate Faker. Those streams were later taken down and Riot Games co-founder Mark Merrill said that they were quote, against e-stalking. Again, whatever that means. Additionally, the client is still also missing the ability to gift skins to teammates after a match, the ability to check out a player's runes, and most of all, whenever the old client would load after making any purchases at the store, you would be greeted by this iconic loading screen. However, with the new client, this was taken away from us. Forever. To end off this video, number one is more of an honorable mention. It's not the most serious or significant thing in the world, but I would surely describe it as at least an oopsie by Riot Games. In 2015, Riot Games made some significant changes to the champion, Corky. The change that we're focusing on today though is actually about his passive. Corky's new passive now gives him a package 8 minutes into the game. Corky then has to pick up said package to get a special ability. However, the issue came from the sound effect which Corky would make after picking up his package. You know, I, I feel mildly uncomfortable talking about Corky's package. Here is the sound that all players in the game would hear when Corky picks up his package. For many, this is nothing of importance. For some, this sounds very similar to an actual air raid system that is played to alert citizens of an emergency. There were plenty of posts on Reddit and the League of Legends forums from people who found this siren to be a little bit... alarming. Take this post for example. Hey guys, I live in Israel and I have a problem with Corky special delivery. When he picks it up, he does a siren sound that is similar to the sirens when my city gets attacked and it kinda scares me IRL. For the sake of this video, let's listen to them side by side. This was Corky's original siren. In response to posts like these, Riot made their own post essentially saying that they overlooked the sound of Corky's siren and they're going back to the drawing board. Since then, the siren got changed to something more suitable. 
Also, I didn't mention it because I don't have a video of it actually happening, but there was a bug at one point that made it so every time there was a Master Yi in the same game as Corky, every time Master Yi would alpha strike, it would play Corky's Siren. So essentially, it would sound like it's time to evacuate your country, but you won't. Cause this is a ranked game, and I'd rather my country get invaded than potentially lose 20 LP. 